Story time. It is story, story, story time. Yippee! It's time for a new story. Everyone's ready. One, two, three. A story about a young girl called Amisha who takes a trip to Dahanu. The title of the story. Trip to Dahanu, written by Yachita Nanda and illustrated by There is a big group Ajanta Guhatakurta, Amit Kaikini, Anurima Chanda, Bindiya Thapar, Isha Valentine, Natasha Sharma, Pallavi Krishnan, Preeti Krishnamurti, Sangram Keshri Senapati, Sanjiya Mayekar, and Shikha Nambiar. This is a Pratham Books publication. Delhi, the capital of India, is a big city with many buildings and lots of cars, autos, scooters, bikes on the roads. In Delhi also lived a small girl called Amisha. She was 9 years old and loved cycling. She was in 4th grade and had many friends. She also liked reading about animals and birds and wanted a space where she could play with animals. Alas, in Delhi there were not many open spaces for doing all these things and Amisha started becoming sad as she loved animals and birds and could not play with them. One day, Amisha decided to go and speak with her mother about the thing which was making her sad. Her mother was cooking in the kitchen. She told her mother, I want to go to some place which is not full of buildings and traffic. I want to play, cycle and run in open fields. The mother started thinking. The mother had a talk with father and both of them thought of such a place which Amisha would like. They finally chose Dahanu, a small place near Mumbai. Dahanu was everything what Amisha wanted. There was a beach, open fields, trees, plants and finally a space where Amisha could play. As the summer holidays were coming, they decided to go and stay in Dahanu for some days during the holidays. Amisha became very excited and was counting her days to their trip to Dahanu. Finally, the day came and they took a train to Dahanu. The journey took 18 hours and they reached the next day. The first day of her stay, Amisha went to the Dahanu beach with her parents and there she played happily after a long time. She saw the sunset and found it beautiful. She also found lots of dogs at the beach and played with them merrily. The next day, all of them went to see Varli paintings. They got to know that these paintings are made by people of a tribe called Varli. Amisha and her parents loved the paintings and bought few of them for their home. And then the day came which Amisha had been waiting for so eagerly. She went to the fields and had so much fun. She ran and rolled in the grass, played with squirrels and birds, made friends with dogs and cats and spent a happy day at the field. Amisha went to the fields again and then the time came to go to Delhi. She did not want to go back, but then she knew she will come back in the holidays as her parents had promised her. Yippee! What a wonderful holiday, she thought. Wow! That was fun, right? Do you want to hear more stories like this? Yes! Then log on to www.booksthatspeak.com Eruwa wee!